Hey guys, it's super early, but we are heading to the Singapore Botanic Garden and then we will go to Gardens by the Bay. We are in Singapore Botanic Garden. We've been walking for the last three hours and we still didn't see even half of it. This place, it's enormous. It's full of this beautiful nature. So if you want to enjoy a peaceful place, this is the spot for you. You can come here early in the morning and you can see all the people doing Tai Chi, yoga, etc. And there is not that crowded at this hour because right now it's getting really crowded there are many many tourists here just like me <laughs> but if you come early in the morning you will have it almost for yourself I think they open at 5 a.m. but the sunrise is at 7 so I don't know if you want to come here in the dark or just after the sunrise but you will enjoy it for sure Here in Singapore you can find many places just like this. Uh, in this food court you can try cuisine from all over the Asia and it's all in affordable prices. Because as you know, Singapore is quite expensive, but here you can find food for just a few dollars. For example, me and Magda we took two sets, six dollars each. It was amazing and we had wonderful three days at his place. Three nights at his place. We were watching movies, we were playing board games, and he told us quite a lot about the city itself and people living here. Uh, so it was a valuable experience. Today we are staying in a hostel uh, in a dorm just for one night because tomorrow we have another code seven host who will host us for the last three days. The weather is not always like you would like it to be. Right now we have heavy rain here in Singapore. But we needed to go out to get some food. And yeah, I'm going to ride just in the water. We are in Gardens by the Bay in Singapore at 7 a.m. 
to come here this early we have to wake up way before the sunrise but it was worth it because as you can see almost no one is here so to make all the perfect pictures that you want and this place this place is impressive take a look It's 9 o'clock, we've been here for the last two hours. A tip for you guys, if you want to make great photos in this place, you have to come early, but you never have to come that early, because the light was way better after it. And still we saw maybe 10 tourists altogether. Right now it's getting kind of crowded though, so 8 o'clock would be the perfect spot, I guess. We did manage to make some incredible photos, so you can check them out on our Instagram profile. I give you the link down below and just take another look on this gorgeous place. We are on Southern Ridge hiking trail, which is 10 kilometers long. It takes you among the nature to several viewpoints over the city. However, before we enter, there was this sign. Do not enter during the thunderstorm. Right now, there is thunder all around us. <laughs> oh, it's terrible! And we have some heavy rain here, so we are still thinking if we should continue or if we should go back. We really don't want to go back as we took 40 minutes subway ride just to get here. And right now we are just stuck in the middle, under the roof, waiting for the rain to stop. So we are still waiting for the rain to stop and I hope it will sound, stop soon, however, looking at the clouds, I doubt that. We've been here for almost an hour, however the rain is almost done. I can see some bright sky right now and I think we will continue. Although the hiking path is super wet, but since we already took 40 minutes ride, I think it's better to move on. The weather is getting better. Uh, on the left side, you can probably see the most famous island in Singapore, Santosa. There is the Universal Theme Park there, and on the right side, you have the cable car to the island, and back there, there's quite many ships on the sea. We just met another person from Australia today and he told us that we should come and visit Melbourne as it's a great city. So I guess we are putting this on our bucket list and maybe we'll go there. From this point, we can choose either this path through the forest or we can go this way, which leads you to the bridge and it's easier. So, obviously, we are taking this path. Oh, and here we have the first obstacle on the way. We have just reached the end of the hiking. It was quite a walk, however, we truly loved it. 
if you have some time here in Singapore, you can definitely take this hiking trail. It's not our top one peak for Singapore, but if you have some time to spare, it's definitely worth going. All right, guys, so this is it. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the next videos.